Hello, HUM community. Welcome to our weekly series, Humming in IRL, where we serve up juicy wellness news and trends faster than a kale smoothie can boost your metabolism. Get ready to feed your mind and your feed with our digestible, bite-sized health and wellness news. I'm Brooke, your host, director of editorial and content, and I'm joined by Dr. Jennifer Martin Biggers, AKA Dr. Jen, a wellness expert, doctor of nutrition science, RD nutritionist, and head of science here at Hum Nutrition. Welcome, Dr. Jen. Hi, thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Let's dive right in hot topics and wellness, Ozempic. What do we know about this drug? What does it do and who takes it typically? So Ozempic is a drug that's typically prescribed for people who have type two diabetes. It also helps with weight loss. And the way that Ozempic works is it uh, improves your body's secretion of insulin, which helps with your blood sugar management. It also helps you to feel more full. And so that increased fullness and satiety is what helps drive weight loss benefits that people see. Okay, and what are the side effects? What can people expect if they're taking this? The most common side effect is nausea. Typically nausea goes away after taking the drug for a few weeks, but it's definitely something to make sure that you're working with your doctor or healthcare provider who's uh, who's prescribed it for you to make sure that you are um, taking it in a healthy way. Okay, well it's all the rage. Thank yeah. you for shedding some light on that. Uh, talk to me about monitoring glucose and how glucose affects our everyday health. So glucose is uh, what people, when you say blood sugar, glucose, they typically use it interchangeably. Glucose is the scientific term for it. So your body uses glucose, it breaks down carbohydrates, and glucose is one of the simple sugars that results from that. Your body likes to use glucose for energy, for different functions, for your brain, for your heart, for your muscles, all these things. Um, when your blood sugar is too high, it's called hyperglycemia, and this can cause thirst, it can cause you having to uh, go to the bathroom, frequent urination, and hypoglycemia is if your blood sugar is too low, which can result in feelings of lethargy, fatigue, and consuming some food that will increase your glucose helps to modulate hypoglycemia. Okay, so hyper is high, hypo is low. Talk to me about weight gain. There's a lot of talk about loss. Mm -hmm. Now, weight gain isn't always bad, right? And what kind of weight gain is actually good? So weight gain can be beneficial if people have certain um, disease states or they have certain athletic needs. Again, it can be something that's beneficial for people if done correctly and if done safely. So it's just as important if you're gaining weight or you're losing weight to make sure that you are meeting dietary requirements in terms of eating colorful vegetables and fibers and fruits to help support your gut microbiome, keep those bacteria happy in your gut. Incredible. So if you're building muscle, which typically weighs more than fat, which could be possible healthy weight gain, yep. what kind of nutrition is needed to build lean muscle? So protein is what our bodies use to build muscle. Protein breaks down into amino acids. These are the building blocks that help our bodies to maintain and to add muscle mass. Very important. Now, we have a blog called The Wellness, full of juicy, amazing, helpful yeah. wellness news, tips, tricks, hacks, recipes. Um, and we recently wrote about counting macros for weight loss. Can you explain what counting macros are and how they benefit weight loss? So counting macros, macros are the macronutrients. They're the building blocks of our food that provide energy for us. It's protein, it's carbohydrates, and it's fat. So as we've talked about, protein is very important for muscle mass. It's also very important for our metabolism. So counting macros can be a useful tool to make sure that you're getting certain amounts of these different macronutrients to achieve health goals. It's also a useful tool for people if they are uh, wanting to lose weight or even gain weight to provide more attention into what you're taking into your body. Thanks, Dr. Jen. All really incredible and helpful information. I appreciate it. And that's a wrap. Thank you for tuning in to Humming and IRL. And remember, when it comes to nutrition, health, and wellness, do what feels right for you. Give this video a like and keep following us for more wellness tidbits. And swipe up to read the latest health and wellness topics on our blog, The Wellness. And tap through to shop our clean and clinical supplements and gummies for skin, hair, body, and mood. 
Remember, health starts from within. And until next time, keep calm and hum on.